Once upon a time, in the distant universe, there existed a blue planet full of life. Undeveloped animal species roamed freely on this planet, living harmoniously amid vast forests, flowing rivers, serene lakes, and boundless oceans. This rocky planet held a hidden treasure, abundant in gold and precious metals, all isolated in the vastness of the cosmos. Meanwhile, in a faraway green world known as Greenland, resided an extraordinary race of advanced alien creatures. These beings were the epitome of technological prowess. Devoted to preserving their home planet, they enjoyed the gift of immortality and explored the universe with great care and concern. In a small school, nestled within a quaint Greenlandic town, a science competition was about to unfold. The students, brimming with creativity, conjured designs beyond imagination. One bright student, in particular, embarked on a unique experiment, birthing a tiny, immature organism. These creatures, with two arms, two legs, and faces adorned with two eyes, a nose, a mouth, and two ears, were designed to follow orders. But their brains were not fully developed, resulting in the birth of an entirely new species. After the science test, the young student gazed out of his room, pondering how to utilize this newfound living species. The idea struck him to use these creatures to search for gold and precious metals needed for his other experiments. He set out to explore distant planets, eventually discovering the blue planet with its abundance of gold and a perfect environment for life. A brilliant plan formed in the young man's mind. He planted his created life forms on the blue planet and orchestrated the extraction of gold and metals from them. With his modern aircraft, he landed on the blue planet, where he realized the perfect harmony of climate and environment for his experiments. Determined to help these creatures thrive, he modified their design to adapt to their new home. Their form now resembled his own. Although they couldn't breed on their own, he brought a female Javinda into existence and introduced the concept of mating to the two new species. Gradually, they adapted to their new blue planet, breeding and flourishing. The young founder kept a watchful eye on these creatures, believing they were now ready for their purpose. Journeying back to the blue planet, he utilized them to obtain gold and metals for his experiments. This continued for centuries, but he cared for their well-being and allowed them to live freely. However, this new life brought about various side effects over time. These creatures struggled to stand and communicate with each other. Concerned for their welfare, the young creator returned to the blue planet, blending their genes with those of the local monkeys, birthing a new species, humans. As time passed, these humans evolved and their knowledge expanded. Across the planet, the humans spread, traveling through forests, cooperating, seeking food and shelter, and living in groups. While not initially advanced, their knowledge grew, leading them to discover the transformative power of fire. They adapted their diet from raw meat to the delights of roasted cuisine. Rock caves and tree trunks became their shelters marking the beginnings of their permanent residences. As they evolved, agriculture took root and they constructed their homes with wood and clay. The Greenlanders observed with certainty that this new species would continue to develop and thrive. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of this incredible tale of the creator beings and the evolution of humans on that distant blue planet. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll delve deeper into their extraordinary relationship. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel as we explore more captivating stories from the far reaches of the universe. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of the cosmos.